today i am going to discuss on uh, topic called orbital parameters so the different orbital parameters are apogee perigee semi major axis and semi minor axis these are some of the orbital parameters of satellite communications let us begin with the apogee apogee is the point on the satellite orbit that is at the furthest distance from the center of the earth so uh, distance which is furthest from the center of the earth to its orbit uh, is called apogee so it is represented by capital a capital a is equal to small a into 1 plus e this is the expression where e is a uh, semi uh, major axis and e is the eccentricity of the uh, orbit or elliptical orbit now let us move to next topic that is perigee uh, uh, there is the point on the orbit that is nearest to the cent uh, center of the earth it is denoted by p you can see this diagram uh, it is a elliptical shape orbit so centered by earth and satellite is revolving around this orbit satellite orbit and then uh, this perigee is denoted by p capital p where p is equal to uh, expression for this p is uh, uh, p is equal to small a into 1 minus e where uh, p is is the smallest star nearest distance from the center of earth to its orbit where again e is a is a semi major axis and e is a eccentricity of this ellipse okay next about eccentricity the eccentricity uh, eccentricity or orbit eccentricity e is the ratio of the distance between center of the ellipse and the center of the earth to the major axis of the ellipse where e is equal to a minus p divided by a plus p so uh, a plus p you know that is a plus p is equal to apogee plus perigee is equal to 2a 2 into semi major axis and that's uh, also equal to a minus p divided by 2a where a is uh, a minus p uh, you can see a minus p is equal to square root of a square minus b square divided by Mm, 2 into square root of a square minus b square divided by 2a 2 to get cancel. Finally, uh, square root of a square minus b square divided by a. So, note eccentricity can also be defined as how stretched out the an ellipse is from a perfect circle. Next, semi major axis. It is a geometric parameter of an elliptical orbit. It can be calculated from the known values of apogee and perigee distance as. small uh, the apogee or semi major axis is equal to a plus p divided by 2 where capital a is apogee and capital p is the perigee divided by 2 that is summation so summation of apogee plus perigee divided by 2 so semi major axis is equal to a plus p divided by 2 similarly ascending and descending nodes the satellite orbit cuts the equatorial plane equatorial plane at two points first one is at ascending node and the second one is at the descending node satellite orbit cuts the equatorial plane equatorial plane it will cut the satellite then one uh, first one is ascending node and the second one is descending node and then what is ascending node the point where the orbit uh, cross the equatorial plane going from south to north that is you think of whether it is going to cut the uh, that is not in equatorial plane satellite cuts at uh, while moving from south to north that is called the ascending node and whereas uh, descending node the point where the orbit cross the equatorial plane going from north to south that is called the descending node we can see this diagram so given diagram the uh, there is a dark plane you can see this is earth and dark plane you can see this is a equatorial this orbit is satellite is going in this orbit when it moves from north to south that is called descending node um, from south to north it is ascending node that is n1 and n2 period period is the time take uh, it takes for a satellite to complete one orbit this time is also called the side real time uh, height of satellite it is a height or altitude from the satellite to earth surface radius of orbit is the sum of satellite height and the radius of the earth inclination angle the angle between orbital plane and earth's equatorial plane line of nodes 
the line joining the ascending and descending nodes through the center of the earth you can see the different uh, orbits of satellites equatorial orbit and inclined orbit and the polar orbit sub satellite path so this is a path traced out uh, uh, on the earth's surface directly below the satellite plus when an imaginary line is drawn on the earth that path it is going to trace is called the sub satellite path line of episodes uh, the line joining the perigee and opposite through the center of the earth is called line of apsides this is enough for this 